Welcome back to Best Car Fixes. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. Today we have a, a FRM footwell module. And thank you for your support also. Let us try to see how we can fix it when they go bad. We have a footwell module. The footwell module is a small computer that controls the windows, the signals, and like headlights, headlights in some cars. And they are different footwell module for each car okay uh footwell module is coming in in four different way or four and, uh, four or five uh categories one of them like this one of them also like this for like mini coopers they have numbers you better go by numbers and uh, see what happened this one the cover is just like this another one the cover from the back is metal you know after you put it in you have to put the cover and a screw and this one particularly, this one here, it is for uh, 2009, like 328i, E90, E91, E84, E89, and X1Z4 footwell, which is, I have it here. Uh, this one here, one of uh, my friends, um, he, he see me in YouTube, and he saw me fixing this one. And he said that he have some lights, they don't work. And he think like the the module is bad. When the module is bad, I use auto hex. I cannot turn it out because you see here, it doesn't, the wire. But this is Hexapro. There is a lot of tools that can, can do this work. Even um, hotel can do it. And any any computer, why? It, the language is the one. It just considers this is a human being. Any doctor around the world can work on certain uh, sickness or certain function if something is wrong the same one different tools okay so now let's go here i have hexaproc for this is an extension of auto hex so i'm going to click hexaproc stay with it you're going to stay a little bit and now in here you're going to go to uh, bench and then go to BMW, and then you need CAS is different FRM. When I click on FRM, you have one, two, three, four, five different, five different one. So if I click on this one here, it could be you coming here, and then you go to wiring. It will give you the the layout of the wire. You see here, and I believe this is the one that mine also is the same. If you notice here, it could be a different color, different procedure, but those are the wire for this particular one. You see here? If you are going to, for example, forget about this. This is what we are working on it now. If you are going to the second one, FRM2, and now here it is. And in here, you see it's different. It's different procedure. So now, what happens if the, the, the piece is no good? So let me show you. I'm going to go here. This is an FRM. And I already checked the wire. Let me go to the wire here. This is the wire. I solder all these wires. There is something here, you say, in some cases, FRM2 has lost OBD communication when read, write, flash. So, if you are working on changing FRM, data do only do only EPROM. That means if you are replacing it. But now, on this here, it's kind of funny. Look here. This is a piece. Now we're going to go to read. I'm going to close this. Okay, you see EPROM, EP, EP, EPP. E E P R O E M. If I click on this one here and I'm gonna say read, if it's corrupted, it will not read. So look here. If it's corrupted, it will read zero zero zero. So this one here it read. So look here now. You see, I have everything ready. If it's not reading, that means something is wrong. But this one, all the data is there, no corrupted. Now. I'm going to stop this 
I will go back to flash. Okay. Read, read the flash. I was able to read the flash. See. You see, the flash is good. And I believe on this here, when they go bad, maybe you have to read and write it back. You know, like, it's not like repair it. I am not sure. But on this, as soon as you read it, it will, tell, it will give you a page here to say to repair. Let me close this one here. I already saved this um, save this one here let me go to frm2 you see this one it have a repair function it have a repair function it doesn't have um, it doesn't there is no uh, fix you know like you have a repair function. but the other one it look like it's read right so if we are thinking that our module is bad, I already read the information. We can get the same module, same part number, and we're going to just uh, read or just write the EPROM. Because he say here, if you look at uh, the pictures, wiring, they say that if if you want to do this, this job, in case there is remove and... This is the this is the second one. Let me go to the next the first one, which is this one here, FRM two. When I read it, it doesn't give me the option of read write. So that means it's only to transfer the software to another place. If you look at the wiring information, he told you if you want to change it. In case no communication with the OBD2, select FRM CPU version from Hashbrack. Do the desired function for reading, writing FRM in software. Answer the wire. Connect FRM back to the. In some case, FRM2 ha has lost OBD2 communication when read write flash. So if you are working on change FRM data, do only EPROM. So you don't need to d write down the FRM and leave the data as it is just change the frm that's also good information it looks like on this one here we don't need we are not going to do anything if it go bad we just have to write the EPROM. so on this one i already saved the EPROM. we're going to look for another module we will read write it in this one here a repair the way of repairing is different this one here is reading so please subscribe share and like and see you in another video. FRM2, maybe it doesn't require any any repair. It just require uh, read, write, or some kind of work like that. Please subscribe, share, and like. And this is FRM. If you want to know about uh, cars, it's different. This is the one that having the car information. And also it has uh, starting signal programming all this are through this one this is a cast so computers are a lot for example this one here is for rear parking brake for Acu uh, Acura MDX uh, the customer tried to jump the two wire to release the caliper and uh, something happened I don't know but this is not good you can get this one in eBay, less than $100, dealer for 350 to $500. So just take care of your car. If you want to change the brakes, release the brake pad with the 
tools, not with power from outside. You may damage something there. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, and like. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Thank you.